As you may know, I believe there isn't much wrong with this world that couldn't be cured by more democracy. It's an essential safety valve for a healthy society, and I can't praise it highly enough. And there's never any reason not to vote, because even when there's nobody worth voting for, you won't have to look very far to find people who are well worth voting against, and most of them are not even standing for election. In my case, it could be virtually anyone from the current malignant progressive consensus of PC numbskulls, cultural relativists and petty censors that seems to have the whole of Western society in its clammy grip. Safe space crybabies, left-wing authoritarians, social justice warriors, progressive utopians, whatever these people want from an election, I want the opposite, in spades, and then some, purely for the sake of my moral health. You see, I find I'm allergic to progressive values. They bring my conscience out in a rash. So, if you think that all cultures are equal and that everything that's wrong with the world is the fault of the West, I vote against you. If you think group identity should trump individual liberty, I vote against you and against any group you identify with. I don't need anyone to vote for, as long as you're around. If you think feelings are more important than truth, I vote against your feelings and against your truth. And if you are usually the first person to mention race in a political debate, chances are you are the racist. I vote against racism and against you, you racist. I vote against anyone who thinks a violent tantrum is a valid response when democracy doesn't go their way. Like the hysterical anti-Trump protesters in America right now, the more angry and frustrated those people are, the happier I am. And I will always vote against them by voting for what they don't want, even if I don't really want it either. I vote against anyone who thinks they have a right to police someone else's opinion. Free speech is absolutely non-negotiable, whatever some slimy politician might say, because it is the wellspring of our civilization, and if you pollute that, you pollute the river, and you kill all the life in it. I vote against that. And if you're the kind of dipstick who likes to claim free speech while you're shouting people down to shut them up, not only are you a disingenuous, hypocritical dirtbag, that goes without saying, but you have no business calling anyone a bigot. The definition of a bigot is somebody who won't listen to another point of view. That's you. You are the bigot, you bigot. And I vote against you. I vote against all hate speech laws and against anyone stupid enough or corrupt enough to support them. If anything qualifies as hate speech in this world, it is Islamic doctrine. And until we start prosecuting that and the people who preach it, no law against free opinion has a moral leg to stand on. And if you think it does, guess who I vote against? Especially if you're a police officer who selectively enforces the law to appease Muslim sensibilities. Hello again, Rotherham. I vote against you with size 12 boots on, and if you had any personal integrity, you would vote against yourself, you treacherous common purpose muppet. If you've ever called Israel an apartheid state, the word moron was invented for you. I vote against morons. And if you think I shouldn't use the word moron because it's offensive, you're an imbecile and a retard, and I vote with extreme prejudice against imbeciles and retards, and I can do this because, unlike you, I haven't been crippled by political correctness. Lucky me. So maybe you're a gay man who supports the Palestinians, and you like to go on demonstrations and parade around in your Queers for Palestine t-shirt and little shorts. If Hamas ever got their hands on you, there wouldn't be anything left of you to vote against, you posturing wazak. But in the meantime, I vote against you with pretty bows on. And if you're a progressive female journalist who likes to show how non-racist she is by blaming all men for Muslim rape and sexual assault, I would vote against everything you stand for, if I thought you stood for anything at all. Besides, you don't need me to vote against you. You've already voted against yourself and against every other woman in the West, you irresponsible toe rag. I vote against anyone prepared to tolerate any form of Islamic misogyny, including gender segregation at public meetings. And this is just one of many reasons that I vote against Britain's rotten Labour Party, of which I used to be a card-carrying member until they intentionally flooded this country with people from a hostile supremacist culture that is never going to integrate in order to drive down wages and buy the immigrant vote, thereby driving a permanent wedge of division into our society and shafting the working class they claim to represent while calling them racists if they objected. And they're still doing it. 
So if you vote Labour, I vote against you with brass knuckles on, which is awkward as I've got friends who are dumb enough to still vote Labour and I don't want to upset them, so I'll just have to hope they don't see this video and we can keep it as our little secret. And finally, the Islamic supremacist propaganda term, Islamophobia, is the shovel that we've been handed to dig our own grave in the West, and far too many of us are busy digging. So if you're one of the people who uses this term as if it's a real word, or if you like to call people racist for criticising the religion of special needs, I only wish I had a million votes for this one, but the one vote I do have is focused like a laser on voting against every disgusting thing you represent. I consider it to be my public duty because you are the moral scum of humanity and you are an enemy of civilization. I vote for civilization now and forever. I vote against you. Yeah, that feels better. See what I mean about a safety valve? Isn't democracy wonderful?